This is an ATN OTS XLT 160. 2 to 8. Um, it's a thermal monocular. Uh, it's pretty budget minded. Um, they're five, six hundred dollars. Uh, the uh, ATN is comparable to the AGM um, ASP 160. I do get a little bit better uh, resolution with this. Um, I don't know if it's because of the bigger optical lens or not, but uh, it's real comparable. This uh, this is great um, for for the price. Uh, it is just incredible. Um, just like most hillbillies, I like to get out at night and look at deer and coyotes and raccoon, you know, cows, horses. I don't care. Uh, cats, dogs, whatever. If it's at night, I, it's just neat to look at through a thermal viewer. Um, now, unlike analog night vision, um, this is a thermal. Uh, it, it, it picks up on heat differences, uh, just minute heat differences, and draws a picture in here. You know, it's, it's pretty cool. At the end of this, um, there will be a couple, um, still photos and videos, um, actually taken by this. Um, uh, it'll take steel pictures, videos, um, it has different color palettes, uh, it has white hot, um, red hot, which is just white, and then the hottest part turns red, um, it's got black hot, and it's got fusion, which is just purpley looking, I'm not big on the fusion, um, it's just, uh, it is what it is, um, Black hot or white hot. That's I, I like those better, um, and I, it seems to be uh, the recognition and identification seems better with those. Uh, Fusion's cool looking. Um, it's just I don't know. It doesn't seem to me uh, to be as good as the others. But anyway, um, you've got really. Easy to work here. You got four buttons. Now a couple of them have uh, several things that they do. This is the on off. All it does is on off. Um, you've got your zoom. All it does is zoom. Um, the color button is also how you get into the menu. Um, you can do a lot of things. Uh, this literally has a dead pixel just repair. Um, golly contrast brightness blah 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 you just hold this down um and the menu comes up on the side and then you can go you know you can change items in the menu with the photo button or the video button uh takes you up or down then just hold this down again for a long time and it goes off um if you just press the uh camera button it takes a picture a still picture if you press and hold it down up in the left top corner, it'll start counting down. That's your video. And like I said, at the end of this, I will show a couple a couple scenes. Um, there's a, a deer running. Um, the deer started off running, I guess, the video about 75 yards. There's some deer further on, about twice as far at 150. And if you want to get an idea of what the resolution's like, um, you can make out a wood line back behind it. And that's about... 225 250 yards um the deer standing is about 35 to 40 yards away um then there's going to be a picture of just woods just uh i, I put it on there because i liked it it's pretty cool looking just picture um then there's one uh if you see it, you're like, what the crap is that? It is a rabbit in a brush pile at about 45 yards. I just added it just to show um, exactly how well this thing picks up stuff. I mean, it's a rabbit in a brush pile. Um, it's not out in the open. It is literally in a brush pile. Uh, 
with regular night vision, uh, analog night vision, or digital night vision, you wouldn't be. Able, I, you just wouldn't pick up on a few things like that because they're too well camouflaged. And I like uh, I like analog night vision. I don't have any good analog night vision. I've got like some this Gen One monocular. Um, it's a Firefield. Uh, they're made in Russia, or Belarus. This one is made in Russia, and it's just Gen One technology. They they have an IR light and everything. And, and as much as I enjoy just messing around with it, it is not even comparable um, to this uh, ATN thermal unit. Uh, and like I said, this is a budget unit. You can get oh my goodness, you can you can spend a ton of money um, and get a just, you know, and yes, they're better, but if you just want to get out, see what's going on at night, this is a way to get into it. Uh, I have had nothing but good luck out of this. Uh, and, and for, for the price, uh, the, the imagery is pretty doggone good. Um, like I said, it's it, real simple layout to use. It has a, uh, you can mount it on a bipod or something like that. It's got 8 gigabyte of internal memory. Um, there's no SD card or nothing like that. And then you, uh, it's a Type-C uh, USB connector. You hook it to your computer. And you can download all the pictures off of it. Or videos or whatever you have on there. But um, no, can't say enough good about it. So far, it's been awesome. It does have a range finder. Uh, the range finder is pretty gimmicky. Um, so, yeah, there's that. But it does have one. Um, you you go into the uh, menu, go to the range finder, and it'll like ask you what you're wanting to range find, whether it's a grizzly bear or a human or just uh, just not a... The range finder's hokey. Um you know, it, it works, but it's it's so hokey, it's not worth messing with. I'd just get a range finder. But yeah, if you want to get out at night and and just hillbilly it up and drive down gravel roads and look at crap, this is <laughs> this is the most fun you'll have. Um I can't recommend it highly enough. I I might save up some money and one of these days get one with higher resolution, uh, but I am just completely tickled with this. Uh, I can't, oh, when it first comes on, um, there's an ATN emblem, um, and you, this is the diopter, you set it for your eyes, like if you're blind or if you have good eyesight, it will matter, and you just twist this until the ATN emblem is really nice and sharp and clear, uh, and that sets it to your eye. And then, at different ranges, you can twist this objective lens around, and it will, uh, it, it focuses. So, most of my videos, I just kind of find a, a, a happy medium and live with it. But if you want to fine-tune it in, you can get some really, really good, good resolution, you know, out of it. Um, better than, better than average. Anyway... If uh, you're looking for a budget thermal, uh, these, you can buy them straight from ATN site. You can get on Amazon. I don't know. Uh, like I said, can't recommend it enough, though. It is the most fun um, that you'll have. It's money well spent. Um, you know, I, the battery life on this thing is amazing. Um, you... You know, just recharge it. Um, it takes a little while to charge it when you first get it. But I think around 10 hours is the amount of time. If you just left it on constantly, you get about 10 hours of run time out of this. So, yeah, you can have plenty, plenty, plenty of fun in 10 hours. Um, like I said, we drive, we just drive around and look like, you know, complete crazy people. But it's, it's just fun. Uh, stuff that doesn't normally come out in the day, comes out at night. And with this, it doesn't matter how dark it is. You don't need moonlight. You don't need starlight. You don't need IR. This doesn't care uh, how dark it is. It also works in the daylight. Um, you could use this, I guess, if you were like search and rescue or something and, you know, looking for, uh, you know, God forbid, a 
body or something, as long as it wasn't cold, you know, you might, if you can see them with this, they're rescuable. Um, if you can't see them with this, uh, you might want to get a good bloodhound or something. But anyway, give this thing a try. Um, you won't be disappointed. I'm really happy with it. I'm, some people might be disappointed with it. But literally, for the money, you're getting every penny's worth out of this. Thanks for watching.